As an installer, working in the field, there are times we might encounter a faulty shade motor in need of repair. Before attempting to perform any motor replacement or repairs, there are two scenarios you need to understand. The first is when the motor you've encountered fails to power up, or has failed after initial setup and needs to be physically replaced. In this case, contact customer support to determine the appropriate solution and place any necessary parts orders. If the motor needs to be replaced, swap out the motor before continuing the process in the app. The second scenario is when you've encountered an app notification while attempting a setup that reads, shade fabrication error, or if customer support has directed you to perform an in-app motor replacement. In this case, the motor does not need to be physically replaced or swapped out, and the fix is done entirely in the app. Keep in mind that motor replacement process in the app is not available for all products. So check resources in the link or contact customer support to ensure that this is the best option for your situation. The process in the app will be the same for each of these scenarios. However, you will notice some differences depending on whether the shade has been previously set up in the home. You will need to calibrate the shade as part of the motor replacement process. So it is important to make sure that the shade is securely installed and the area is clear of any obstructions before starting. Start with the app open and press and hold the shade's control button for about five to six seconds until the amber LED light turns on. You will see a pop-up in the app. Select, this shade is a replacement. The app will then ask you if you are replacing the entire shade or the motor. Select motor replacement. Next, you will select whether this shade was previously added to the home. If you select yes, choose the existing shade from the list when prompted. If the shade does not appear in the list, you have three options. You can either try again and see if the shade appears the second time, or select the arrow to expand the available shades list. This will display all shades available for this process, as seen in the app. If neither of these options work, you can then continue with configuring the shade as a new motor. This is the same as selecting no to the shade previously being added to the home. If you selected no, then you will be configuring this as a new motor. You will then be prompted to select from a list of shade types. Choose the shade type you are currently repairing. For roller shades, select the appropriate roll direction for this motor, a standard roll or reverse roll. Make sure that your selection matches how the shade was ordered and built. The app will then begin to configure the motor and a confirmation message will appear when it's complete. Now the shade will begin to calibrate, fully opening and closing. After calibration, and only if you selected yes to the shade previously being set up in the home, the app will now sync the new motor with the shade's previous room, scene, and schedule settings, and this process may take a few minutes. If the shade was not previously added to the home, this step will be skipped. Once completed, though, the app will notify you of a successful shade motor replaced. From here, you will follow the guided steps in the app to complete the shade setup process. If the shade was previously added to the home, you will be prompted to sync remote settings with the newly replaced shade. The last step will be to set custom limits for the shade. If the shade was not previously added to the home and you are configuring this as a new motor, you will now need to add the shade to the home. You will be directed to the shades list where you can easily add the shade to the home by selecting set up new shades. Follow the steps in the app to complete setup by adding the shade to the appropriate room, syncing any remotes, and adjusting any custom scenes. If you would like to set up custom limits for the shade, follow the instructions in our video on adjusting limits.